what are looking into the future mm -hmm. um what are some things that keep you at night keep you awake at night and some things that really get you excited when you wake up in the morning um i'm worried with climate change that it can go awfully bad um the weird thing about it is that it's a ridiculously easy thing to fix technologically. Within 10 years, the amount of carbon dioxide that we throw into the air could be zero from making electricity. For transport, we could bring it down, we could do, bring it to zero in 15 years. Agriculture is going to be harder because it's alive and it'll fight us, but I reckon, you know, 25 to 50 years, we can sort of bring it to a zero sum game. And beginning right now as well, we could also start sucking back the carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. So if we were to do um, massive tree growing, we could uh, take account of 10 years worth of carbon dioxide. If we infect plants with certain fungi, with certain fungi we can bring down, on, as a one-off, the world's carbon dioxide atmospheric level by 60 ppm. As a one-off, you only mm. get one go. Or we have, if we have machines that they're building in Switzerland, right? Have been building. If we have twenty-five million of these machines, they can compensate. They can suck out the atmosphere an entire year's worth of carbon dioxide output by human beings. Mm. It's a simple technological fix. Simple in the fact that we just have to throw money at it, and yeah. yet we're not doing it. And so that's why people like you should go into politics to make sure that it happens, so that our children are not stuck with a five to eight meter ocean level rise. Mm. If, when you include the positive feedback loops, which the IPCC is not including because they're very conservative. But if you read their reports, you'll see that if you do include the positive feedback loops and they are real and they are happening, we're looking at five to eight metre ocean level. And this is going to be a disastrously expensive exercise for the human race. That that, that one bothers me that we've there are forces like the tobacco industry in the old days would deny and they still today deny that tobacco is addictive and bad for you, mm. there are forces that claim that global warming is not real. Mm. And uh, the suffering will happen further down the line in the same way that people with lung cancer, there was an epidemic of it beginning around 1900, and the tobacco company managed to fight it for about half a century, and then it took another quarter century before we actually got traction. And uh, in, in fact, in some parts of the world, it hasn't got traction. So if you go to Spain... In America, people still smoke cigarettes like normal, mm -hmm. but in like they used to. But in Australia, cigarette smoking has just dropped enormously, and the tobacco companies hate it and are fighting it. The fact that people the, the tax and the uh, ads on packets might have a lot to do with that. I imagine would it? They, oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's what they call an elastic a product with an elastic demand, and so you can change the demand by applying force there are some products which don't have elastic demand so you've got to buy your milk you've got to buy your food but uh, alcohol tobacco is, is relatively elastic mm -hmm.